Hello everyone and welcome back to the city of Thinkathin. This is City Skylines. My name is Ben Pope. We're gonna dig right into where we left off. Uh, there's an update for the mod I was using for the themes of District. Again, this is uh, a series of mods that allows you to customize what grows inside a district, what kind of building. And the modder, his name is Bowformer. And uh, I'll, I'll show you an example of what the update was. So you go into policies, you go themes, there's uh, enable themes management for this district and this is selected on the UK terraced housing. If I switch over to the farms here, I didn't select anything. I could in fact enable um, it's all low, res ro low, bleh, low residential uh, but I'll go ahead and select the European here so it sticks to European uh, homes and buildings and so on. And um, same with like the shopping center. I haven't switched this one either, but let's do that. Let's make it European. And now the new thing is that there is a theme manager. So um, you can go down the list. I believe this is sort of, it doesn't do anything. Uh, or it does, it shows what is inside that. So for example, um, the European would have everything except for the stuff that's not uh, selected. So like the high rises and you know custom houses that I got uh, here. All of those you know office styles for the international and so on. Those are not selected because they don't need to be in this you know European theme. Now if you want to have some high rises you can go ahead and just select these and they'll start growing. Now I, I recommend just doing like a small district. Uh, you know, like let's say you make a small district somewhere in your downtown and you want just high rises and you would select international and then unselect everything except for these, for example. There's quite a few of them. Uh, and you can pick the nicest one and go with it. So that's even more. You can make your own theme. You can say, hey, I want a new theme. And you say high rises. I just saw this button here. And uh, and select what's inside it, because right now nothing is inside it. So you would go to high rises and put all of those in. See. And they would appear right here. You could just select it. So I'm gonna delete that because I don't need it. But I might use something like that eventually. That's really cool, Mr. Bowformer. Bofomer <laughs> uh, from uh, the Steam Workshop. He is just a genius. I go ahead and check out his work. So we're gonna actually with that in mind we're gonna go to the UK policies here and um, I I can make I can make a theme for, for these guys because I don't like there isn't a um, a theme created for them. So I'll say UK industrial. Now the rumor is that he will create this theme and uh, have it available, but I can just, with this latest update, I can just make my own. So we're doing that. We're making our own theme. And I think that's really important. People have been waiting for this sort of customization for so long and you just gotta click all those little bits. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that there's uh, some props that need to go with that, but this is just a building, so I don't have to worry about the props. And you can actually go and you know select only or or unselect that and blah blah blah, all that stuff. So I think I selected all the UK uh, industry shop shop shop. Stockholm, tenement, terraced houses, there's UK, those are, okay, here's the industry stuff. Okay, so there we go, that's there, I can close this now, and this is selected, so I can select him to have the UK industrial, unselect that, and um, why don't we clean up in here? So then the UK industrial stuff pops up. Let's close this. 
and uh, I doubt that any of this is what I want. Um, so just gonna hold on the mouse button. Hopefully, not take out any roads. Now, chances are that I'm going to delete some stuff that uh, is already spawned after I've made the change. I don't know. There. <laughs> Just in case. Um. Are you one of the new ones? I don't know. Let me make sure. Make sure you are. So now I don't even need to have this locked in because that's the only buildings that are going to come up. So, um, there we go. There's a part center. And we'll keep an eye out on this. We'll, we'll come back. We will come back, I think. That's kind of to up to where I want to put the UK shops industry and I also um, acquired a new theme from the workshop and it is one that adds uh, American style uh, suburbs so I'm gonna create a zone here and uh, set it up for that I, I was gonna do the roads the whole layout while uh, not recording but it so happens that I just started recording and I was like you know I can talk about some stuff while doing this so hopefully you guys you guys are okay with that I think I think to about there is what I wanted I'm gonna continue this to here All right. So, and why not go all the way to this section? We'll start filling out the roads in in a minute. I'm just gonna keep checking on how my other zones are doing, and my demand is not very, very much There's low demand everywhere. So I have to keep kick it up a notch. Um, maybe if I create more places for people to work then they'll want to move in stuff like that this is still very slow I don't suppose there's no traffic lights I keep checking for traffic lights because I'm thinking that's what they're stopping there's just stop signs and some of the guys keep going some of the guys don't I guess the guys that are just taking a right they're just flowing through everyone else is kind of slowing down all right, so here we're gonna uh, select this. Uh, let's name this little, um, I don't know. Uh, fine, little American suburb. Okay, I probably spelled that wrong, because anyway. <laughs> Let's see how little Stockholm is doing. I think it's looking pretty darn nice. Don't you guys agree? Now these these homes don't take up like whole. See how it's it's sort of just bigger backyard, so it looks like it's empty back there, and I think that's okay. It just they just don't take up the whole uh, area, and that gives them some specific charm. I suppose I still have to come in and do a bunch of parks and whatnot. Um, looks like I might have I might have some um, policy problems around here still, and it's creating all sorts of headaches for myself. Uh, apparently, there's trash piling up 
there, we'll have to go check it out. Can't believe I didn't do the policies all, all around here. So, as we learned last episode, not having policies set in creates a mess for um, for your buildings. I'm getting a mix there too. So our Grand Boulevard is a bit tainted now. Looks like somehow I don't even have this built in. Alright. Filled in. Not tainted, but we have buildings we don't really want. So we're gonna go in and take some of them out. Uh, it's likely that I'll miss a few and it won't really matter, but This one isn't... It doesn't look bad, but... Okay, and you. Alright, so since we have a uh, garbage problem that are parked airplanes, we're just gonna remove these because they're not really doing anything. not going to put them next to the road just so they can get the trash picked up. And maybe we can do something else with that um, taxiway. Uh, let's see, how about there? And then... Okay, so we still have a lot of uh, everything that we could be, could be doing. Let's see what our industry looks like here. Yeah, that looks like the buildings that we need. They have the fences. Not bad. Bus is stopping by to pick up people. Yeah. Okay, now um, I'm thinking I will go ahead and put in some of the roads while that's still progressing. And I'm trying to be quick about it. Not just because, but kind of also have to uh, limit my time so I don't record for too long in an episode. Okay, so we're gonna go, yeah, we're just gonna go straight like that. Uh, in fact, I want it, I want to be able to maximize this area, so we're gonna put this edge road in. There, and then we can remove that last bit. And I'm likely gonna want a um, tree lined area. Kind of go on a straight. Uh, what do I want to do here? Do I want to do this? I think I want to do that. I think I want to do that. I'm gonna exchange some of these uh, offices from there to here. Perhaps. Just a little bit. Okay, and back to the roads. And right click. Or just first click actually, because we're not changing directions. those go back to the road curve here people are gonna like 
living out here. They're just they just don't know it yet. Um, can I go about this way? Yes, I can. We um, are gonna create even more traffic, but I think I think I can maybe do. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do. Let's do this. And from here somewhere, we're going to I you know, I, I was expecting that to work. And it isn't. So, <laughs> so let's just go from from this to this. I know you can do it. Alright, you know what, mister? There we go. Uh, but do I want to do that? That's the problem. I don't know if I want to do that. We shall not do that. We will do this. Okay, there we go. And I know you're thinking like what, but I just don't need it. I don't need another exit entrance. At least I don't think I do. Uh, screw it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> oh, lower down, lower yourself down, Mister. There we go. Or go in the ground. I don't know what to do with you right now. Come on. the sort of thing that you just yeah okay simple stick to the simple and we need a curve this way that really messes up the road but I don't really care and same with over here we're gonna just simply come on Might as well, might as well create that stupid thing because it's not letting me do a uh, proper How is the slope too steep? Come on. Hey, this is working that way. Okay. Well, that's fine. Maybe I should have done it like that from here. No? <laughs> ah! Here we go. I know. Come on, baby! It's retarded. Alright, ridiculous. I'm sorry. That's... This is bad. I'm sorry. There we go. There's your exit. Go cry to your mama. Alright. <laughs> Seriously, guys. What happened here? I see that our, um... Stockholm... Commercial area isn't spawning. Like at all. This is definitely not it. It's a... Basic drugstore, and I shouldn't have you here go away so I'll have to check out what happened to the um, to the part where I'm supposed to have or I thought I have commercial zoning for that theme as well this is coming along nicely Although people are just not moving in because there's not much, there's no, there's no um, demand for moving in. 
uh, which makes me wonder if it's a good time to start putting in houses over here but that's just how it is what I could do is create more jobs um, I know I have plenty more ore over here and farmland but I could probably use the ore more than, than the farmland uh, so this in fact looks like I didn't properly zone this anyway for the district so it was like somewhere around there wasn't it probably not all the way to where this road is but it was all ore and we're gonna continue with this two lane road here and finish up really quick with some more industry okay so that will bring us more jobs in and people are starting to use this exit as well so that's nice we won't have as much of a mess up there although that's still pretty busy with all the buses go figure Okay, so we have some commercial need. I want to fix this a little bit since I was working on the roads to kind of continue that. Uh, maybe have something like this. I can put like little parks behind the tennis courts. Yeah, why don't we look for those parks? I don't think it's that f hard to find, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure it is because most of these are not marked. Um, where are you? Let's do a pretzel stand. That's always fun. 3x3 three three park. I, I know I had some marked 1x1 one one parks, but those are not evident right now. We're gonna put some some uh, some toilets. You guys want a toilet? I don't know. I think that's a good spot for a toilet. Okay, I should have had my um, game on fast, so this gets to grow faster, but something's wrong with the commercial zone here. Uh, so I'll have to figure that out on my own and come back next episode and just get more growth in. Um, yeah, so we learned that we can combine the themes in the theme manager and make your own theme that's how I was able to make this UK industrial it's really neat so go out there and have some fun with putting your favorite buildings together into your own little arrangement um, and that's about all I'm gonna talk about today I'll see you guys next time please do comment in the video let me know what you think uh, and um, share this out with your friends if you enjoyed it it's been fun for me and I'll see you guys next time just gonna fill this out and go into a nicer view of something I don't know what I always like this view there you go all right Bye-bye.